Good afternoon, ladies and germs and bristle worms. This is King Henry on a really um, an update that needed to happen a long time ago. Uh, there's reasons why I haven't updated or made any new videos, but I'll go into that in a little bit. Um, just wanted to kind of show you. This is uh, June third, twenty eighteen. And so I've had this tank over a year. A, well, geez, it's probably been about a year and four months, whatever. So you can see that uh, that is a very large Kenya tree I've got there. The one that you've seen in the videos as this little tiny branch um, is now pretty much consumed half the tank. Clowns are doing great. Um, Oreo and Ginger. Hey guys. Hi. Oh, hi. Ginger. Oreo. And Spot back there. Oh, he's a little bit skittish. But uh, Joe, you know, Joe is. He's the man. Yeah. So there's nothing that's really horribly changed over the course of the last six months or less. Uh, in fact, I don't really care for the tank like I used to. But last night I did a um, a water change and cleaned the glass and did a few other things. I mean, there's some debris and stuff uh, on the seafloor bed, but. Overall, I mean, it's a really healthy tank. I mean, I can't, I cannot deny it. It's just a really um, self-sufficient tank. And the water changes that I do, you guys would be seriously impressed how little water I add to the tank for changes. And the refugium is doing great. Let's see if I can back up here. Um, yeah, <clears throat> it's a totally successful system. So if you guys were curious about my modifications I did months ago, it is it is a no-brainer. It really is. And the copia pods, the ticker pods are are in the tank. Um, they're still prolific and. Multiplying. This is the Clarepa macroalgae here that is kind of, I mean, this section here is almost like a, uh, it's like a Chato reactor versus say, and a um, refugium all in one. So that's kind of what I've done. And this is the Fluval original light here that's just kind of on its side. I used to have it up here, but I found it to be. A little bit more effective right there of course that's always a modification in progress uh, the green star polyps have died off um, I'm sure that all of the aquarium enthusiasts and pros know that the green stars have a shelf life well in the ocean they are you know, probably a lot more prolific, but in a tank like this, and in, in my whole experience with green star polyps have been that of a shelf life experience. I haven't fixed that problem yet. So I get the wave maker over here right now. Um, I move it, you know, I just, I can change it. I can change, you know, the direction this and that. <clears throat> I've got screens over this, you guys. Gonna have a screen on these um, J-Bow, uh, it's a J-Bow wave maker. You gotta have those, because um, Spot over there, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys remember, <clears throat> if you guys remember um, Kirby, he got filleted, he got freaking filleted by this 
wave maker here without any kind of net because it's pulsing it's pulsing every you know five seconds or whatever and when you do the feeding you know you push the feed button down here you're gonna have a moment you can have a moment where you know 10 minutes where there's just no power going to the, to the power head at all and that is an opportunity for small creatures to go in there and then when it turns on you're kind of screwed but uh it's, it's, you know this hobby is a live and learn experience um so i let me bring up um let me sit here for a second let me let me bring up why i haven't done videos um in a while the reason why I haven't done videos is because I got a notification from YouTube that all monetization is being cut off for my channel. And I was like, what? Like, well, why? Like, what did I do wrong? And it was because they, I didn't meet the new guidelines, quote unquote, um, for these channels, or for, for, you know, just in general. <clears throat> they attributed to uh, spammers that were making videos that were not legit. And what they did is they killed off a lot of uh, us little guys that are doing great videos, um, like myself, uh, of, of knowledge and this and that. So I was, you know, right now I have like 72 subscribers, something like that. And, and when I got that message, they basically just took a, they just took a giant shot on, on me and so that really upset me quite a bit and there's a lot of language I could use right now but I won't um, but if you if you continue to like these videos that I do um, talk to YouTube tell them hey you know you're killing the little guys you are destroying the very essence the foundation of what YouTube's all about and it's about knowledge and, and, and different aspects of the world and hobbies and cool stuff so I urge you guys to understand just understand that YouTube is not completely um, supporting all of their their creative people system works. The Chato Reactor Refugium. <laughs> Doing really well. Water levels look good. Salinity is good. So thank you for watching. I hope you have gained some knowledge from this particular video in regards to the politics of certain organizations like YouTube. But really it it's not my rant. It is a rant, but it's my rant in the fact that I had something going and I stopped doing it. So, without further ado, uh, like, subscribe. It doesn't doesn't gain me anything. I just wanted to help out. Um, so, talk to you later. This is King Henry signing out.